Now let's add a bend to the top of our candy cane. And we're going to use the deformer bend, and it's right on the top. If you the drop down menu, it's the first one on the, uh, the first choice for the deformers. Once again, the uh, bend deformer has to be a child of the object we're trying to deform. So click, hold, and drag, and just drop it right on the cylinder. So we get cylinder bend and twist. Now this is going to, I'm going to intentionally make a mistake to, to show you how this thing works. So we got the bend um, deformer here. Let's go to the uh, strength of this. Don't change the angle, leave the angle at zero. But increase the strength. <coughs> and if I zoom out here, as I increase the strength of the bend, I get all kind of bizarre, uh, unwanted you know, effects going on. So what's happening? What's happening is it's bending through the twist. Uh, it's bending through the twist deformer, is one way to explain it. So what we got to do is uh, change the priority of these things. So we got cylinder bend twist. I want twist on top of bend, so I can click on twist, click hold and drag, and put on top of bend. Um, just make sure that both are children of cylinder. So, cylinder, twist, bend. Select bend in the object manager. Just to start with it, well, let, now let's look at this. Now let's increase the strength. Keep the angle at zero. Don't mess with the angle. And uh, we'll increase the strength, and we'll see it's bending through the x-axis, which is good. That's what we want. However, it's not, uh, you know, I mean, how do we constrain the bend? It's, it's not a uh, candy cane shape. Well, if you look here, you can see like the cage that the uh, bend deformer exists in, and we can also change the size of the bend. Now it's just like think about this for a minute now. So it's bending really far through the x-axis. If I constrain the x-axis, which is this, this is x, y, and z. If I decrease this number, it should tighten up. So I'm going to decrease uh, the, um, the length that it bends through on the x-axis, and it's, it's getting there. The, um, we got this really gradual bend, and that's the bend going through the y-axis. If I decrease the value for the y, uh, the height of the y for the bend, we get some really dramatic changes now. So now, by decreasing the y height, of the bend deformer, and maybe you have to watch this video a few times to, for this to sink in, um, I can tighten up the angle a whole bunch. Just by grabbing the uh, bend deformer and pulling it up, so like now we're getting into candy cane world, right? Okay, so I'm going to decrease uh, the size of my, well first of all I'm going to increase my um, strength, I want it to bend 180 degrees so it's pointing down. Okay, and yes, it looks really ugly right now, doesn't it? It's not um, not very pretty. So let's decrease the size of the decrease the size, this width is too much, so I'm going to set this x value to 30 now we're now we're cooking here. Now this is starting to look like a candy cane. Um, I could probably leave this value of 23, but I'm going to put it at 30 as well. That looks a lot nicer. It just gave it a little bit more. And as, if I can move this up and down a little bit, so let's look at our parameters here. Even if you don't really understand the process, uh, here's the first of all. You have cylinder, twist, and bend in that order. Twist and bend are children of cylinder, but they must be in this order. 
here are the attributes for the bend object. Size is 30, 30 centimeters. This doesn't matter because we're not um, we're not bending through the z axis here. We want to do it. We the strength we want 180 degrees because we wanted to bend all the way back down. Okay, from where it started. Angle we must keep that at zero. If you change this angle, what you're if you, by changing this angle, you'll change the angle of where the bend, what axis the bend is going through. So if I were to change this to like negative 45 or something, I would get some really whacked out um, effect over here. So again, uh, maybe some of that was a little bit too much at this point, but get these parameters. Oh, and let's look at the uh, coordinates of this thing. That'll help you as well. Um, let me just round this up to 90 here just to make so the coordinates of my bend object are 0, 90, 0 um, and the other attributes are here 30, 30, 250 180 degrees and 0